<laughs> yeah, but you want to hit the deer, not the tree. Never swerve to avoid the deer. Hit the deer. <coughs> so you didn't swerve. She was driving. Yeah, driving here. Yeah. Oh, great. So yeah, you want to hit the deer because that's the top. If you hit the tree, it's collision. So then if you're going to avoid the deer, it's cheaper to hit the deer. The deer usually doesn't kill you if the tree dies. So, yeah. Hit the deer. Yesterday, that was in July last year. He was in the garage. It's terrible. It's about this time of year, my youngest son. I'm not. Are you? Sounds like you're in the sound box. Is there No, it's in the garage. It's in the Never broken toes, so don't step on my foot. Coming anywhere in the ground. we I have 6.30, we will call this meeting to order unless there's an exception, we'll go for the and adopt agenda. If we can stand and pledge the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
um, however you would like to do that. Madam President, I move to appoint Nancy Zabrowski as president. Second. Question on that? Um, Good discussion. I have one question. You want the position? I, I will. I will accept the position. Center. Um, should we take a roll call? This is all new here to me, so kind of a new thing. I'm just taking a yes or no. Okay. All in favor, say aye. 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 And opposed? And abstain? Abstain. Okay. Then I guess that I will be uh, the president of the board for now. And um, in light of that, that leaves the vice president position open. And um, I would like that we could fill that position with one of the board members. Hey, the border. Is that not the same as having a board election? Dan? Dan? Can you address that, please? I believe the board is proceeding under Chapter 120. Point um, 05 sub 3, which provides for the board appointment of a board member to fill a vacancy such as a um, position like a vice president on the board, and the selection process is essentially identical to an election in that um, the process would be, it has to be some other board member um, who would be available for the position. Dan, since you're up to um, that statute, that will override the fact that we don't have a policy that addresses this issue? We really don't have a policy, but you're required to comply with the statutes. This is up to the board. This is a, a may, not a shall, in terms of how the statute is written. So the other alternative is we keep the position of vice president open if we wanted to? That's possible, just as um, under 120.05, it provides for the appointment of the vice president of the board as president. And by statute, the only choice you have there, it's you may appoint, but the only choice is the vice president for the position. So when a vacancy occurs midterm like this, the vice president is the only individual who can fill it by statute. So that's somewhat different. Now, for the vice president's position, it's different. You have a selection of anybody on the board for the position. Thank you. So is there um, a nomination for vice president? I move to appoint Bernie Shaw as vice president. Is there a second for that? Second. Bernie, are you willing to do that? Yes, I am. All in favor of Bernie Shaw as Vice President, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain. Thank you. Turn down. Turn down musical chairs. Awesome. <laughs> Hold it up for you. Your name tag. Well, then we uh, shall move on to number five, the consent agenda. Uh, 5A, approval of early graduation request. B, approval of October 24, 2011 and November 7, 2011 regular school board minutes and October 24, 2011 closed session minutes. And letter C, approval of November vouchers and vouchers payable. Does anyone want to remove an item from the consent agenda? And is there a motion to approve? So moved. Second? Second. All those in favor? Or it, uh, yeah, all those in favor of the consent agenda? Please say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, number six, old business. 6A, discuss and take possible action on academic achievement team update. Well, would that be you? Sure. Um, did, I hope everybody had a chance to look at the cover sheet that was put out today, um, basically talked about the motion made at the June 27, 2011 board meeting um, to approve administrative staffing proposals presented tonight, which carried five to two. 
Um, and during that meeting, it was specifically <coughs> talked about three of the four principals being involved. Since that time, a first <coughs> principal has indicated an interest in being part of that group. So um, in discussions with Dan, probably the, the easiest way would be to simply amend the motion to include all four principals if that's the what's in the word. Does uh, anyone have a, to make a motion to um, include all four principals? I do. In fact, I'd like to make the following motion. I move that all principals should be added to the academic achievement team. I further move that the finance committee should be directed to recommend, to provide a recommendation and a stipend to be made to all principals with this recommendation to be acted on by the full board at its next regular meeting. I second. John, I have a copy of that for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. I second it. Uh, any discussion on that? All right, then all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> all right, so we will add the all four of the building principles to that team. Yeah. Okay. 6B, discuss and take possible action on district goals. Lowell? <laughs> Let's see you again. Okay. Um, basically, I um, listened to the discussion last week, or two weeks ago, actually, and um, maintained the, the ones that seem to have the majority of the board's interest. And again, that cover sheet is 6B, and it basically deals with the goals that um, the first one is obtain and implement map testing for grades K to develop baseline to measure academic achievement strengths and weaknesses in 12-13. So in other words, they're doing the baseline testing this year, and then you can use it for measurement next year as you go through the year. Um, and that would be under strategy two, student rigor and the strategic plan, because we wanted to tie everything in. The next goal was implement a one-to-one -one technology initiative in at least one grade level by April 2012. That's what we said last time. I would encourage, just because of, uh, I would think about having it ready for fall of uh, 2012 rather than April, but that's up to the board. Strategy four, finance and facilities. Um, the first goal is move forward with an energy study of the district to look for opportunities to conserve energy, save money, and possibly obtain Energy Star certification on our buildings. <coughs> Basically, that's where you use energy contracts to pay for the the energy savings so you really don't end up having a cost to the district that you do a performance contract that pays for itself and if you want more details on that I just noticed Matt sitting back there going uh-huh um, <laughs> and then the last goal was to upgrade our wireless infrastructure to meet the needs of current and emerging technologies um, you might want to reward that because what I would suggest is that um, Eric be charged with doing a proposal to upgrade it and um, as of July 1 you know we'll, we'll be able to fund it moving forward so a proposal and a plan to upgrade our wireless infrastructure presented and approved by the board would be a goal for this current school year and the recommendation obviously is take formal action on the goals for 11-12 school year and plus any revisions the board may make So the last goal would not be to upgrade it, it would be to submit a proposal to upgrade it as of? I would write it, let me see if I can write on this one. No, I, yeah, you can. Um, research and present proposal to upgrade wireless infrastructure to meet, meet the needs of current and emerging te technologies to be approved by the board in the 11-12 school year for implementation in the 12-13 year. Okay. Questions? Does anybody have questions? Uh, the one question that I had is that I, d I just don't recall that we talked about um, removing the strategic plan as a goal. Talking about 
We had talked about yeah, revising, right. looking at it, updating yeah. it, yeah. meeting with the board. I think it was a pretty specific goal that we had in one of these other documents. It was on the list last time. It was on the list last time. Yes, it was. So if we want to keep going. So is that my design? Took it off the. What well, well, the discussion? The, there. the discussion last time. I was kind of going with what I was hearing from the board at the last meeting, and it was it it wasn't something that went under the current strategic plan. It was just something we were going to do. I mean, we already had. I mean, the, the board approved doing a strategic plan um, at one of our last meetings. You know, a revision to it. So, I'm. I think it's. Still not a bad idea to have it on there as just an overarching um, goal, and I think it was worded that it would be we would have the strategic plan, uh, plan revisions approved by the board um, by the June board meeting or something to that effect. So if we said something to the effect, um, review strategic current strategic plan, uh, recommend any changes to either the, uh, the plan or tactics to achieve the plan um, and report to board no later than say February 1st or something the first first week of first uh, meeting in February would that provide sufficient time to review? that wouldn't wrap it up no you, you, need, you need a couple of weeks between each big session okay and we would need <coughs> at least two board committee sessions okay just to do a, the first one would be a revision kind of thing um, you would look at the, you, you used um, uh, the survey instrument last time uh, but what's it called again I can't think of the name school perceptions school perceptions and you know which identify which uh, of those we want to resurvey the community with that would be like a three four week turnaround and then that last meeting would be to revise things. I um, think when we did the original proposal on the strategic plan, we said uh, April for approval by the board or something to that effect. You, you, the board is part of the process, but then the board has to, the board is actually the one that acts on it, says, yep, this is it. The expectation, at least from um, my part, well, was not that you would have surveys or anything done, but just review the current plan itself in the four broad categories and um, confirm that that is still the direction you want to take and recommend we take. And then if there's individual tactics underneath that, of which a survey might be one, that you would recommend that we, you know, we do a survey for this and, you know, and that would have a obviously a longer period of time to complete. So, sure. I I just want to make sure that um, we have dialogue and everybody's still on board. That the kind of the four-legged stool that's been created is the stool we want. So, in in last week's board agenda meeting, there was a document of the board goals, and it said strategic plan revised report adoption by June 2012. Right. So. That gives them, gives them plenty of time to both review the strategies and then probably review any tactics we want to do. So there's plenty of time there. So would you be comfortable in there and adding that as district goals? Oh, absolutely. With that time frame? Yeah, and okay. especially since they're the board goals. So. Okay. And it's realistic from a time frame standpoint? Yeah, it was including the update in February and the commitment to it, and then um, you guys, I mean, by then we should be able to act on it much sooner than June. Yeah, I would mean, think so too. Okay. So if we take these goals that we just we submitted in this packet, dated November 21st, add strategic plan revised with board adoption by June 2012 and change the um, one goal to research and present proposal to um, upgrade the wireless infrastructure etc mm -hmm. that would be good 
absolutely. Okay. Anyone want to make a motion to approve the um, to the um, the goals that we just discussed? District goals. But I no, I was I was going to say I would prefer if Nancy make the motion, just from the standpoint of stated exactly how you want it. Do you know what I mean? Okay. And I'll second what you're thinking. Yeah, because yeah. we've right. amended it slightly. Okay. Right. So I will make a motion to approve the um, district goals dated November 21st, 2011, with the following changes. Include a goal, um, strategic plan revised with board adoption by June 2012, and revise the last goal on this page to say research and present proposal to upgrade our wireless infrastructure to meet the needs of current and emerging technologies. Second. Okay, any further discussion on the board? Mm -hmm. I would. Yes, <coughs> um, apologies for not being here last week. I got to experience the delights of um, traveling through Chicago. Um, mm -hmm. I think these are fine goals. I think they're all good ideas. I think that they're all worth doing. Um, I have the following concern, which I have shared on multiple occasions over the last six years I've been here, which is that in terms of goals, um, me personally, I think we need to think, um, you know, more broadly, more broadly, in a bigger perspective. Um, think about bigger things. All of these are useful and constructive things, but a number of them are, are more, we're going to do this program, and I think it's good to do programs, but at some point, you know, part of what we need to do is think about a much broader picture, you know. Um, you know, I, I think that um, from our standard discussion last time, the idea was that we would think about a bigger picture Next time we did goals, once we've had a chance to redo strategic plan, totally understand. My issue with that is the issue that TJ has talked about on multiple occasions, which is, you know, we don't have time to continue to kick things down the road. And, um, we, you know, over time, we've not done a great job at saying what what are the big picture goals that we want to look at? Um, I'll give you an example. I mean, for a couple of years ago, we said that our basic goal for the district was to implement strategic plan. I think that's a good idea, but that by itself doesn't really necessarily say a whole lot. Um, I've been much more comfortable. We said, here's specific things, and here's the big picture. And you know, and the one of the reasons that I proposed, and it was me, that proposed a couple of you know of different kind of ideas was simply because. There are some ongoing things that would have value to the district to both look at and to use as what's truly a goal um, that potentially benefits kids and everybody connected to the district. So with that understanding, well, I think all these goals are good goals, and I'm certainly um, in favor of doing each and every one of those things. Um, I'm going to vote no. Because I think at some point, if we're going to have goals as a district, I would really like to see those be much broader based and have potentially a larger impact on a fuller scope of people. comments all those in favor of the motion to approve the district goals with the um, revisions made um, please say aye. aye aye and those opposed no we and abstain so we abstain Stephanie. so then there's a four yes two no's and one abstaining is that correct? Mm -hmm. 
four two one. So these girls have passed for this year. And then let's look at item C, discuss and take possible action on superintendent goals. Okay, and those are the same goals that were presented last time as well. Um, the um, talking about the leadership coaching for superintend superintendents training through Cardinal Stretch, the team building training opportunities for administration and board, the um, ensuring implementation of district goals, which should always be a goal. It should be a sustaining one. Um, the Facilitating the board administrative team through diversity training in the second quarter based on availability. Um, and then reviewing administrative evaluation process and compare with current best practice, revising as needed. And that was probably the shortest timeline because when we met at our last admin team meeting, we'd like to get that in at least a rough idea by January at the latest. But base that off of the, um, the current national standards for administrators it's called this or actually it's national ISLIC standards okay, on this. Uh, board gates still lead the board administration to diversity training second quarter I think we needed to revise that because second quarter is almost over with and to try to get everybody together um, I would I, I would opt to say by May Together. I'll put a motion on the floor to accept the bills as presented with the changes to number four to read training in the uh, motion to approve the superintendent goals as presented with the change to number four engage a facilitator to lead the board administrative team through diversity training by the end of May of 2012. Mm -hmm. Is there a second? I'll second that. Any discussion? All right. And all those in favor of approving the superintendent goals with the following, with the, the proposed change, please say aye. 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 And those opposed? Anyone abstaining? All right, superintendent goals are approved. Okay, number seven, new business. Discuss and take possible action on WASB delegate. We, Joan received, I believe, this uh, information from the WSB to um, have a, a delegate name and um, uh, for whatever reason my name is on here which I was not the delegate last year Mike was the delegate last year. I tried year. to give your name off the last year and it was unsuccessful. So, <laughs> so um, uh, I thought I wrote to the right people. <laughs> so uh, we need to um, have a, a delegate for the WSB um, uh, conference that, that is coming up so uh, would anyone like, like to do that? It's in January. January. Yeah, about the third week of January. Third so the Dells? No. no. Yeah, <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. You could probably walk there, Bernie. Well, it seems like anything to do with the WASB is, is always at the Dells. I don't know. Mm. They make a recommendation as our volunteers. I'll do it again if you guys want. So yes. It's we do. the resolution process again. Um, at least now I know the format and I can revise it a little as far as how to present it. I know the process it's going to go through. It's not simple or pretty. And they, well, that book that they send out, um, they go on every one of them. And it's right. whatever. It's a long day. Okay. Make a motion to approve. Mike Clarizio as a WASB delegate at the upcoming convention in January. Second. 
Those in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed to that? <laughs> Do we need an alternate delegate, John? I don't think it's required. You can have one if if you want, but we didn't last year. Okay. I was the alternate last year, and I mean, that's where I put. They asked, and I said, yeah, but my name is <coughs> that's why, because I was an alternate now. I'll okay. bet you that's why you're still there. Okay. All right. Well, hopefully that'll get uh, changed this time, Mike. All right, number eight comes from the school board regarding agenda items for future consideration. Anyone have anything? Nothing? Number nine, board member announcements. No discussion or action will be taken. Do we have any announcements? Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Any mm -hmm. announcements? <laughs> All right, then, discuss and take possible action to move into closed session pursuant to Wisconsin Statute 19.851G to discuss conferring with legal counsel for the school board who is rendering legal advice regarding strategy to be adopted by the board with respect to litigation in which it may become involved. So moved. Second? Second. Okay, Mr. Do you call? See that? Yes. Bill? Yes. PJ? Yes. Bernie? Yes. Nancy, yes. Mike? Yes. Stephanie? Yes. All right. We'll, 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 we